do uh, a deck list. Um, I'm down for it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, do you want to do your Mo- your Modrotha list? Is that going to be? Are the we do- gonna? Do you want to do that one or? I uh, yeah, I was gonna try to do it because I uh, the dollar the You're dollar. You're gonna list. try to do it with the dollar and under because I. I believe that most of the sagas are pretty fucking cheap. Yep, there's a lot of really cool... So I have... I pulled up some things that I definitely want in the deck. Okay, let's do it. Do you have a name? Uh, wait, wait, I, I did, um... Wait, I have, to, I have to pull up real quick. I have actually the name when I had built it in my... Hold on, uh, there... Wait, um... Mole Dog Millionaire. There it is. Because you get it, it's like not rich deck, but slum dog. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah. It's amazing. I thought it was clever. <laughs> anyway. Is that how you spell it? Uh, let, let me check. Uh, I just, of course, I just closed it. It's a it. file save. You got it? Oh, God. What did you do? What did you do? No, you had, you had it right. Uh... I think I had it right. I O N, yeah, you had it right. All right. Millionaires. Got yeah, cool, perfect. So we're making a fair Moldrotha deck. I know you guys are like, ha ha. There is no fair Moldrotha deck. But hold yeah. on to your te- testocles. Yeah, we're doing uh, the dollar challenge for it. Um. This card is so dumb. Yep. I was so close to making Jizz and Drolf into Moldrotha, but I'm like, I think it's going to get too strong. And it'd kind of just be like Marin 2.0, and like I don't want to make that again. So, mm. so first History thing... History of Benalia. No. Binding of, Binding of the Old Gods was the Wait, first... Isn't that, a, isn't that a... No, it's white. Oh, no, no, no. That's that one. What I was thinking a journey... No, I want... Bi- the green one. Well, uh, there's a bunch of them. So Binding of, of the Old Gods was the first... Is that, actually... That's... That's that's the one. I'm it's the kill. Of. It's the kill spell, ramp spell, and then gives creatures death touch. Is that under a dollar though? Yep. It is. Like I said, my list here. Right. I I pull a bunch of stuff that I want to run in here that are under a dollar. The Fall of Thrawn. No, the Eldest Reborn. Well, we can't it's, even play. Uh... It's a sack. It's a sac, uh Each opponent sacrifices well, a creature. We're so we're gonna play like enchantment. No matters. No, check this out. Right? Secrets of the Dead. It's twenty five cents, I know this card. and it's not flashback. It just casts from yep. a graveyard, and you do yep. cast with Maldrotha. So here's there's, there's also a... uh, wait 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 what's the Gravebreaker Lamia River Kelpie read this uh, for, uh, yes that's what that was uh, one of the ones I was looking at. It's also persist, so it can combo mm. with certain things. So uh, from the new set, you ready? For... Oh yeah, Gravebreaker Lamia is only seventy nine cents. Busted, so good in the stack. Um, so Cory Lormage, O R I Q, or Oric, Oric Lormage. It's a, it's one of the new ones. There he is. Well, they dump something. Yep, he's a, yeah. uh, he's a dumper every turn. Uh, King Narfi's betrayal. Because you get, you can mill the, yourself. What's the land one? That it like. You mill three and then like you get a land or oh uh the mending of land. dominaria. Yeah. I like that one. Um, Tormod. It mills it mills cards, which is good yep. for you. Tormod is also a um yeah because it still makes creatures. He is super budget. Playcrafter is also super budget. Wait, what about playing? Hold on. How much is this guy? Oh, you should totally play this. Um, well, remember, it's only one enchantment a turn, basically. It's not solo enchantments. It's right, going to have but... a bunch of stuff, but there's uh, put them to the side, because it might not be as... It's not going to be an enchantress deck. There's going to be a lot of creatures and, and stuff. Oh, 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 okay. Because I, I thought you were doing, like, balls in To be fair, sagas. there isn't really that many more sagas. Um, there okay. is... Uh, thinking of the other sagas I wanted... Um, Wait, is the Urza? What is the Urza thing called? Urza Saga, is that the name of it? Well, that's the new one yet. I don't think it'll be in here yet, you think? Oh, it is. 
I don't know the price of it you yet. You don't know though. what the price is yet, so we should. Just uh, so Phyrexian scriptures. Actually, no, that's too much. Never mind. Phyrexian the scriptures is the really good one because it it's the board wipe in exiling, but it's a little too much. Um, where is it? Are you uh, playing the seals? Like seal of primordial? Oh yes, the seals. So there's and a seal of removal. Seal of primordium. Uh, seal of removal. Seal of doom. And seal of doom. And then there's also uh, the capsule. What's the name of the capsule? Uh, the uh, executioner's. There's the executioner's capsule. Yeah. Also, mole drifter. Yep, mole drifter. Um, we also Shriekmaw. get to run. Um... Shriekmaw. Oh, I guess we could run Shriekmaw, right? Is he he's in the budget, right? Yeah. Uh, perpetual timepiece. Wait, is mole drifter? Hold on, I didn't actually check. Yep, he's under. Per... Yep. Perpetual timepiece is another nifty one. Uh, the Miller. Yeah, self Miller. Wait, isn't isn't some of the dredge cards? Wait, uh, some... check out Golgari... Aether Spell Bomb. Bulgari Thug. He's bulk. Yeah. Play a thug. We could try him out. Uh, Aether... also his other effect is when he's put into a graveyard from play, put target creature from your graveyard into the top of your library. Yeah. Uh, Aether Spell Bomb. I'm gonna put him in the maybe board for right now, because dre Good. dredge is probably gonna be good for you. Yeah, I didn't. I think it's too focused on dredge, but yeah, uh, either spell bomb I like. It's an artifact version of the enchantment that bounces. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then you get to draw mm. if you pay an island. Yeah, I know. Uh, I used to play. I used to play it in Urza. Desecrated tomb. This one's also a really cool one. Yeah, it makes a bat. Yeah, mm. it's just because it kind of floods the board up. A uh, courier's capsule. That's the artifact uh, draw capsule. I'm I am sad though that um that I can't run uh he was too expensive to run was the underrealm lich because I totally would have uh, ran oh, it that replaced it replaced draws yeah he's like four or five bucks or ooh, eight yeah. like, he's he's definitely a little too much but uh do we get playcrafter in there because he's budget and I think flesh bag we we could run we want to run like. The ETB creature. No, Demon, Demon's Disciple is the better one. Yeah, well, we could run a bunch of them. What do you? How do you feel about uh, Seder Wayfinder? Uh, I mean, it's a good budget option to mill things, but uh, like, he, are you gonna does, have ways? Are you gonna does, have ways like good ways to sacrifice in budget? Like, are you gonna play like a carrion feeder? Um, like, well, are you gonna, what are about you gonna the what like, about the scry guy? Like Visser Seer, yeah, like carrion feeder. What? Eh? Carrying feeder in. Oh, I think this is a better fertile deck too. This receiver's close, but you can just play them both, I guess. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, then I like Seder. He's a good. He's good for the budget. Mm -hmm. The mill. But also, Golgari Thug is probably okay too. But it depends on how much drawing you're gonna end up doing. To be oh, good. uh, Azoni Thousand Eyed. He's a potential way to win. Well, he's a way to swarm the board, anyway. Is that the... Yeah. Undergrowth. You get a 1-1 one, one, uh, for each creature in your graveyard. What about... uh? So those were, like, some of the main cards. Now I'm, like, just unsure kind of really else, where else I want to go with this. I just wanted to uh, look up the... There's uh, a There's a budget Eternal Witness that's four mana. Oh, uh, I is know what you're talking about. It's the it's out, actually uh, glow, isn't it only permanent. It's glow spore shaman. It's a uh, no. Never it's mind. Only permanent, right? No, uh, you may put a land from your. Never mind. That's the one that puts the land. No, there's a four mana one that. I know exactly what you're talking about too. Wait, is it Green Warden? He's budget. He's budget. Play him. Oh, we did yep. that one. Yep, Green Warden for sure. Oh, Elspeth's Nightmare I wanted, to, I wanted to run. It's another saga. I just don't know if it's in the budget. Yep, it is. It's not as great, but the fact it's... in the cool thing, it gets to play safe because I don't think it exiles our... Wait, does it exile our graveyard? No, exile target opponent's graveyard. 
And they could also rip a card out of their hand, which we get to do a few times. Um, we did the King's Betrayal. Ooh, Kiora Best the Sea God. How much is that one? Seahawk's pretty good. To self mill. Oh right, right. Yeah. Free, right? I know that it stops people from tutoring, but uh, what about Kiora Best the Sea God? Can we run that? Because that's the one that makes the eight eight hexproof kraken. Ah. Oh, it's a mythic. Too much. And played. It's played in emergent ultimatum decks. Um. Can't run on that. Uh, don't want to run that. Oh, Gray Merchant. For sure. That's like a win con for you. No, Jesus he's not two dollars. That's 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 gotta just be who it, who is. That's just oh, it's that. probably that version. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thirty nine is it. Uh, the Bears of Litjara. That's that's an interesting one. The Bears of Litjara. Yeah. So it's you get a blue blue sh a two two blue shapeshifter creature toggling with the changeling, and they have target shapeshifters you control have base power toughness four four, and choose up to one target creature planeswalker each creature with power four or greater you control oh, deals target. damage to power to that permanent. Sakura tribe elder. Yep. Sakura tribe elder. Solemn. Oh the the binding of titans that's a that's a nifty what one. What about burnish heart? Oh, we could do Winner's Heart, yeah. But isn't he more? I thought he's... Oh, I guess not. No, I put Winner's Heart, Solemn, and Steven. And oh, uh, uh, Tom, the Binding of Titans. Binding of Titans. Cool. Uh, what about, like, um, Wood Elves? We could do that. The one that, like... You know, just, just gets a forest. ETB forest. Hell, he Wait, gets what's, a... the, what's the other one? Uh, Farhaven Elf, I think it is. Is that one actually money, though? Nope. Uh, we could also run uh, the Vessel of uh, Nascency. It's one that mills the top, and you get a land or creature artifact. Yeah, that one. Uh, and then there's... Uh, oh, Kaya's Ghost Form. Don't forget Kaya's Ghost Form. Font of Fertility? Yeah, this one. Yeah, that's either interesting. One that. Do you want to run Spore Frog? Yes, it's so good. We're doing uh Soul Ring, right? We're saying Soul Ring is okay, right? Yeah, because there's certain printings. I'm just throwing it in there. Ooh, a Sultai Ascendancy. We get the run too. Oh, si uh, Sire Conrad, we could run because we do so much with our graveyard and the stuff being put in in there. He is gets. He, is he in the budget though? Yes, he is. Fifty-two cents. He is a Good budget boy. boy. Would you want to run uh, uh, Splinter Fright as a potential way to win, as also with attacking? He also self mills. Trying to find that. That dude you're talking about, that ETBs. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Which one? Um, oh, oh, the four mana one. Yeah, it's like a budget Eternal Lands. Yeah. But I think he only gets a permanent, is the thing. I put Green Warden in. Splinter Fright? No. I, I think I'd rather run the... What's the... Green thing that is flying and can get something out of the graveyard and you mill the top two cards, Derek? Is what is it? The green. It's the Golgari creature that you mill the top two cards of your library, and then it's flying, and you can pay three to exile it to. Oh, uh, Nick's Weaver has reach. It's the spider. Yeah, Nick's Weaver. It's probably okay, I guess. Do you want to run one wonder? <laughs> it's the if it's in your graveyard and you have an island creatures you control have flying. Isn't that money? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh no, no no the reprint's no. seventy nine cents. Ah. Uh, I mean I get I guess. I forgot. So when when I so he lets you play. How is this eighty already? Jesus. 
Oh, it's no, probably because, because oh, no. it's because it's Muldrofa. Yeah, because and also because there's other cards I think that have the high front side. Because I think they go off card oh, kingdom that, prices. That's brought the brought the price down significantly. Because I put Muldrotha to the Dominary one and not the one on the list. Oh, uh, Worm Harvest I want to run because it has Retrace. I like Worm Harvest. And you know it's budget now, Tom? I don't know if we'll be able to actually play, but Emergent Ultimatum is now... Uh... It's just W-O-W-O. So I don't know how crazy we could go with Emergent Ultimatum, but it is, uh, it is kind of... It's probably of... going to be really hard to cast for a budget deck. Yeah, because we probably won't have as many dual color... Um... So the question is, do we just kind of slowly grind out the board and swing with tokens to win, or...? Yeah, I don't know what, like, the win condition is here. Oh, well, we Other want... than Gary. I say Gary, um... I guess we could also just slowly aristocrat them to death with, um... Uh, Sire. Yeah, he's our only pinger right now. What do you think of, uh, Time of Ice? Isn't that just like a... It taps like and tap bounces card? all tap creatures. Oh, um, hmm. Eh. What about Planeswalkers that have, like, limited abil abilities, like Veraska the Unseen? Remember OG Veraska? Remember OG Veraska? Uh, Veraska the Unseen. She's the one that makes the assassin tokens that you, that you lose the game. But she also destroys sure. a, a non-land permanent. So we could... We neg three her plus one her, then neg three her, she dies and replay her. Doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, I like it. This Garuk is budget. The Primal Hunter. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Oh, that works. Make a three three. So we just get we get to the make three threes every turn. But this one is plus three plus three, create a beast. Twenty controls more creatures, put a loyalty counter. You get an emblem with at the beginning of your end step. You may search your library for a creature card, put it onto the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Meh. Eh, yeah. Uh, wait. We should play like uh, Grim Horror Spec if we're gonna have things dying. That's Probably. just that's that's the fancy artwork for it. Like Midnight Reaper is the other one. Uh, Mulder Vine Reclamation is the enchantment version, and you gain a life. Oh, well, also, Harvester of Souls. For sure. I think he's bulk. Yep. Is how much is Tide Mulder, Spout Tyrant? Is Mul yeah, definitely Mulder Vine. No, he he he's a bunch. He's a bunch. Yes, we're definitely playing Mulder Vine. Moldervine also counts tokens, which is really cool about that card. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't realize that initially, which makes Moldervine Reclamation actually very good. What other Planeswalkers? Like Liliana? Is there any budget Liliana? I don't think so. Is What about uh, any Jaces? Can we, is there any Jaces we can run? Right. Oh, there's a Fonts of Fortunes. There's another one. It's like two mana. Well, actually, no, I like I'm the one right. that we have, the Vessel. Yeah. Man. This is a deck where Mystic Remora seems really good in if it's not, if it was more budget, like wasn't budget. Also, th anything with Echo, like there's a card called, uh, what is it? Uh, carpet, um, shit. Wait, what do you think Butcher Malk here too? I think this is a Butcher deck. For sure. Like we play the budget great pack. Mm -hmm. For sure. Ooh, it's almost $2. Holy shit, it's close. Yeah, it, it uh, fits. And then, uh... Mm. It's another thing where, like, the ramp package is going to be kind of awkward. I guess I should play another one, like the Merciless Executioner. How much is... Hmm. 
Man, Alter Dimension is too much, too. Let's get that dimension. Um, yeah, that uncommon card. It's just that card's so good. It does so much. Look at the chases. Man, if Mind Slaver was cheaper. Uh, the Fact of Fiction one. But this is, they put it in the bottom, though. Yeah. Cunning. Can't play that one. Can't play that one. Can't even play the Archivist. Mirror Mage sucks. Yeah. Uh, Guild Pecker. You fall into your graveyard. Then, re then return that another perk of its owner's hand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Pretty bad. This one's good, but you can't play that. Yeah. I guess you can't play any of them. And there was no lilies that were available. Nope. nope. Damn. Yep. You any good? I put a Merciless Executioner in also, just to have more. Do you, do you want to run Slum Reaper? Reaper? Oh, oh, Palace, Palace Siege. Can we run it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely. It's dollar fifty-eight. Yo, this could be one. Uh, yeah, okay. That's like the best recursion we have. What about I CC? He, what about even, CC Brew Tyrant? Because I think we actually think fit even, him. I think even Victimize. Yeah, look, victimized oh, yeah. budget now too. You want to play that? Yeah. What about Sadisi yeah. Brood Tyrant? He's the 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 Sultai Sadisi. That's the. It makes uh, tokens, right? Yeah. When whenever hit, one or more cards hit. is put to your graveyard from your library. Whenever one or more creature cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Because I think we have a decent. We're, like, we're not hard self mill, but we have. Should a... we put the? Do you think we should put the dredge in then? Like, should we play the thug? Do you think? We're playing two stack outlets. Technically, the creatures that enter and can sack something also double count, but like they're not. Oh, you know what? Goods. I forgot because it says so. Even though with like, wait, what's that? What's that thing that you can sack a creature to get a land? I think that's uh, actually money. Per, I I don't think it's too much. It's like a green enchantment. What's it called? I don't remember. I'm I, to think it's funny. It's I have it in my stupid uh, deck too. Oh, what's the land? Grim horror spec? Is that the? No, that's the creature. Oh. Oh, no, no. What's what's the land that does it? Oh, um, green. the Grim Backwoods, I think. Look for Grim Backward Woods. I think that's what it is. Yep, twenty cents. Uh, what is what is the? It's uh, called something. High deeds, right? High Mark is the other one that sacrifices a creature. It's called something. What's the stupid Druidic? I thought it was Druidic something. No, the one that gets lands. It's per Persilius Deed or something, right? I don't, I ran it on Omnath. Um. It has the picture of the lady on it. Per okay, it's Perilous Fourier's. That's it. It is three dollars. It's like three fifty, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking outside the box for this one. Just trying to find another sack outlet. So yeah, this is where it becomes challenging. Like, how do we build a cheap version? I mean, I still think there's a lot of nifty stuff in here. Um, I I think Thug might be okay. Yeah. I, don't know. I feel like it's. Fine. Just having a dredge card. Like we could technically play the land too, right? Is that not what's it called? The Dakmore Salvage? Yeah, Dakmore Salvage. Seventy cents. Nice. I mean if we want to, if I don't know if how hard we, we can't really ramp but we could play Villainous Wealth. We get to play someone else's deck. Well, you know how Sakur Tri Builder works in this deck, right? Yeah, I just keep playing it. So eventually, we could probably get a good villainous wealth. Gotta probably play some interaction too, other than just creatures. I mean, can we play Counterspell? I think no. counter. I think it's too much. Perfect. We have no instance.
that's the full art, yeah. No, it's mm. like, yeah, Counterspell's like a $3 card, yeah. I mean, we could just do Negate. I think Arcane Denial. Yep. Yeah. Even for the full art. Negate's fine. I don't even think Beast is in budget. I think it is. No, not, not the list version. Yeah. I do really like that full art version. That, that one's really pretty. Man, if I could play, I wish I could play Tatiova too. Oh, Tom, we should. This yeah, is, she's she's almost six dollars. No, uh, she is. I think the number one most played Simic Commander. Um, so this is what well, we have. Fetch lands we can run this deck that are budget. Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse and uh, Myriad. Yeah, so we have and three. The, and the no, the what's the other one? Oh, which one you mean? Blighty Cataract. Oh, right, right, right. No, not Blighty Cataract. It's the... No, uh... I mean, we could technically play Blight, that. Blighted Woodland. Blighted Woodland. We could technically play Cataract to draw cards, but... I think I we draw... I think we actually would draw enough in this. I think those are fine. Hmm. Oh, Arcane Denial is getting up there too for like a common. It's just like it's. I guess it's the go-to. I think of what else. To play. We could run Sultai Charm. about plasma capture yo i love plasma capture but then double colors in this might be actually kind of hard because it's a double blue double green we play ghoul tree Just because graveyard shenanigans, it's hard to play around with because there's already so many good graveyard things. And the ones that are like really good tend to get a little pricey. Oh, he's the dollar again. Box gear hole. Let's okay. go. I like that. Oh, um... Trying to think of cards that I run in Bilas. No, that's right, wrong thing. It was is, um. Is Massacre Worm? Because it had that four. I know, I still think Massacre Worm is a bunch. Yeah. Not a bunch. There's but the there's a, lot a for this. there's a demon that does it. Um, demon of dark deeds oh. or dark something. <laughs> Look up demon of dark. I I think that the it's... the one that with the energy, right? Yeah, and it also could reanimate. I don't think he, I don't think he's budget. I don't think he's budget either. Oh, okay. Let's do it. He's good. Because you know why I like him? Because uh, if you have one of the ETB sack dudes, he kills four things. Four things will die, which will give you four energy counters to reanimate. And it's from any graveyard, right? Uh, yeah, a graveyard. Yeah, a graveyard. For three mana and four energy, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, Killing so like I said, so we have. So yeah. we try to fit a board wipe in this. Like, is decree of pain? In there? Oh, that version definitely not. No. Mm. Close though. Um, there's just the generic neg four neg four one. We do um, languish. 
There's the non-black. We could play. Well, we could play uh, Pernicious Steed, which is the, the enchantment board wipe. I think. I think that's too much. Oh, it is. Quite um, much. Gaze of Granite is the sorcery version. It's just a lot of mana to to get off because it's too black, green, and X. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I like. I mean, there's ones we could like. Is About Pontus. What about this? <laughs> that uh, it hits us though, which makes me sad. Our I mean, commander. Oh, what what about Ingrook's week? Oh, we could do that. I think we. I think with our creature base, because our creature is like a lot of death ramp. D six six. I don't know. It's a good card. Is there any like yo? How much is a uh, Lord of the Void? Does anyone play him? Yeah. <gasps> Never mind. Is there anything? Good. Is there anything good like big demons or something? That we, or maybe is there, is there a big kraken we could run? Nope. Still very cheap for what he does. A crap. I mean. Wait, can we, can we play uh, uh, Cherix the Raging Isle? Oh, tra uh, Traumaticus? Tom Nezahal. How did we forget? Goes in every day. <laughs> Our budget boy. Do you want to play Elvish Piper? Nah. <laughs> Got some big boys. Yes. What's what's the, the name of that stupid card that's like an Eternal Witness? Oh yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I was trying to find it, and I couldn't, for the life of me, find it. Nope. Um, I'm trying to find it. Uh, it's calling Rachel. Yo, calling Ritual. Destroy each nonlinear permanent with converted mana value two or less. Add black and green for each permit destroyed this way. <laughs> That's that new one. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hit a lot. Uh, I know regrowth, but that's not really good with... Uh... No, because we really can't get it back as, as much. Phyrexian Delver. Oh, what about... um? Hold on, what's his name? I don't know, you tell me, Tom. Uh, uh, corpse Connoisseur. Oh, yeah, he dumped something, that, that could work. And he's bulk. He also has on Earth. You think that's fine? Puts a creature in the grave? Yeah. Keep doing it. Yeah, I think that's good. We run... Oh, it's Golgari... Uh, I found it. Uh, yeah, it's Golgari uh, Finn Broker. When he enters the battlefield, return target permanent. Delver's, card. Delver's bolt. Do you want to play Delver? Um. Yeah, I guess so. What about like puppeteer click? Oh, right, because we keep getting it back when every time it dies too, right? Six dollars. Is he really? We could play the the the. We could play both the primordials if you want. <laughs> Noxious revival is fifteen dollars. Do you want to play Diluvian? Yeah, well, we, I guess, I guess, because, but we don't mill as much, so it's just we hit what we hit. Well, oh, we're Tom, we're not casting our own stuff; it's their stuff. True, oh, yeah, I am saying, but I guess we have to see what they what they play. The Diluvian and, uh, and the Spelunctral just play their stuff, you know. It's just stuff to play, you know. Yeah, yeah. But are but are are we filling out in room? <sighs> Probably. Yeah, we're at eighty. Yeah. We have seven lands already. Land lands gonna be tricky in this one. A three color in budget. But we definitely get a command tower. Oh, 
Opulent Palace we get, is one of the few things we have to run to. I'm pretty sure the scries are all pretty cheap, though. So, yeah, Temple of Deceit, Temple of Mystery, Temple, Temple Palace or Opulent? Uh, uh, opulent Palace. Uh, it's the, the old Which school. Temple? It's Which temples? Temple of Deceit, right? It's Temple of Deceit, Temple of uh, Mystery, and Temple of Melandi. We also get to run uh, Lanawa Race and Yavamaya Coast because they're both budget. What's the other one? Underground River, right? No, that's the expensive one. Twelve dollars. Because yeah, that was the one I didn't get. They didn't get printed. Um, we can't do any of the buddies because they're all kind of gross. Um, but we could run Tainted Wood is only 51 cents. Mystic Sanctuary. Ew. It might also just be that version. Uh, we can play Exotic Orchard because we're a three-color deck. So as long as an opponent has at least one of our colors, at least taps for one. If someone's more, then hey, we're in there. Uh... Do you want to get Arcane Signet in there? Or we already get it? Ooh, how do you feel about Mind Stone? Because we get Sacrifice to the draw a card. Or Soul Tie Banner, because Soul Tie Banner is 3 mana and tap to draw a card. That we could re we could recast. I think I like that in Hedron. Oh, or or Commander Sphere. No, Commander Sphere. It makes color, and we could do it. This is actually a deck where Commander Sphere it seems really good. Continuous draw and be our artifact for turn. Maybe Hedron Archive also. Yeah, I guess because we we can recycle it. Yeah, comes to land base like it kind of just sucks. What? Do, give me the Tri Land. That's the. The, not the triumph. Oh, it's uh, O P U L, opulent. There is opulent right. palace. Play that. Um, I mean, I know that you know. I th I think this is bulk. We could just play this just cause. Yeah, like I know. Uh, you know, if you play an elemental or an avatar, like I know we don't have a lot. But it oh, makes no, color. It just makes a color for a tap land, so. There's one elemental. Oh, there's an avatar. There's not really a lot, but, you know. I mean, yeah, but well, there's colors. another one. Because Mold it's Drifter. Good, it's, just, it's just a good budget. I think Primordial is an avatar, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, wait, elemental. what was the name of that card again? Golgari, right? Golgari. Fine broker, right? Yeah, Finn bro Yeah. Doesn't it just get a permanent though? It gets a permanent. And he doesn't mill anything. But yeah, to not. be fair, our instant and sorcery count is really low. We are mostly a permanent deck, so is it really that Plus bad? We, we have the Balagate recovery and the green green ward, so we're okay. We have ways to sacrifice them. Do we have Kaya's them. ghost form? And our ramp is we don't have a lot of ramp. We just have the font. Actually, we're not that bad. Six. Wait, should we play that other thing that draws the Yavi Maya thing? Like Yav Yavi Maya Elder? Or no? Doesn't yeah? Doesn't it put it into hand, not into play? I think that was the thing about it. Is like it. it yeah, but it sacks itself to draw cards. I mean, I, I, we could. Yeah. Would you want to run like one Cultivate or one Farseek? Not far seek, cultivator or Kodama's reach. Yeah, so it's two mana to, to draw a card. I think Kodama's reach is out of a. No, I th it's it's still in. 
Because I think it just it gets reprinted like a bazillion times. So we'll just play those. And then we guess uh, add the rest of our basics in. I think. Yeah, we're at a hundred already. We're at yeah. twenty lands. With only one MDFC. Uh, I think I want to play the Hagra Molly just because I like that card. I just like a kill spell. Like, even if it's a bad kill spell, it's it's a kill spell. Yeah. As a land. Yeah, it's worse, a it's a land. It counts as a swamp. And we got a forest, so we have two MDFCs. Okay, so... There's no other... Budget lands that we can play really. Uh, I guess a three color deck, the land base is not going to be amazing, but no. like we're green, so like we just make sure we play enough. Yeah. We have, I think, with enough of like of the things that search for lands and put them into play, we'll hit. Because I don't think we're too mana starved for too much. Things are either hybrid or like single colors or double at most. Yeah, no, Tom, a little out of budget there. Chromatic Lantern is still, like, annoyingly expensive. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so... It looks lightest on blue. Heaviest black? Kind of, yeah. We could, probably, we could probably make black and green the same. So if we have 20 lands left, we need to play a lot of basics too because we have the tutorers. Yeah, like Sakura Tribe Elder and uh, the Burnished Heart. The Psalms in budget now? Yeah. Let's yeah, because that core because that core reprint, the command. Look, he's, he's like stents. Yeah. Cool. Uh... Maybe the Wayfinder is not too great. Yeah, because it puts in their hand, not in the play. Plus, like, the but it also one. is the self mill is the trade off though. Yeah, I think the th I, th I don't know. I don't know how important it is to like self mill as it is to just have something that when things die they come back. Like, I think the how... less the less mill we have, the worse uh, Sadisi gets. So if we take yeah. off the self mill, we could take out Sadisi. And the Golgari Thug. I think it's better to just be a deck that can play things, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe oh, one. Oh, Caustic, Caustic Caterpillar. Oh, yeah. Not to just add things back in, but that card's uh, really good. What about Spore Frog? I think we got Spore Frog. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I good. think he's really good. Maybe we don't need Wonder. Maybe Wonder is just like too much. Yeah, I think he's just cute. He's the very bottom. Uh, There's another blue card yeah. gone. Secrets of the Dead is like the go-to in this card in this deck. Like you hit Secrets of the Dead, it's so good. Same thing with the uh, what's this? the River Kelpie? It's the same yeah. card. It also has Persist, and it also whenever a player casts a spell from a graveyard, so it's also your opponents. But and but we still draw from it, so. <laughs> um. You know, these are like like the primordials are kind of like the best budget options for these one dollar decks. Yeah, because they do a lot. Because they hit, they give you a lot of value. They hit, they hit three things off at once, and even if it's something minor, like imagine going like the blue primordial, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna hit your draw spell, your Should we ramp cut spell. This for the mill then, for the self mill. I mean, we do need some self mill, so I don't want to get rid of too much of it. But um, yeah, I think we could lose Ashiok. Because, like, I don't think we really need to self-mill as where, like, we just have cards that are putting cards in the grave. How much is Buried Alive? I know Entomb's out of the question, but... Oh, yeah, look at that. Right out of there. Even as a, a uncommon a bazillion printings, too. Oh, what about, like, Rune's card? Oh, actually, I don't think he's even budget anymore. No, I think he hasn't been budget for a while. He has, like, six oh. bucks. Even with the reprint. Yeah, he was getting up there. He just, he's just a really good tutor. Uh, so I like that as uh, the Thousand Eyes. Yeah, we could tell. We could probably even play Emrakul in this deck. 
but he, if he was budget. Yeah, he's not, though. All right, so I don't know how many. Do like. And use the rest islands because we don't need like we don't have any early game islands that we're probably gonna really play. Four islands. I think that makes the tainted bad though, because you need to have a swamp, and we have like only six swamps in the deck. True, right? We don't have any of the other dual ones. I think I'd rather just make it a swamp. Yeah, completely. That's fair. I just want to have more basics, so I think I'd just rather play that. And I actually think I'm going to cut one of these sack lands, because I don't think I want to have this Terramorphic Myriad and Blighted. I'd get rid of Blighted. Blighted's a lot to cast, to activate. Yeah, but I mean, it gets two basics, and it taps for a colorless. So, like, at least it's a land. Like, Myriad enters tapped, Evolving Wilds, and Terramorphic. I think I'm just going to cut the Terramorphic and just play another It's just more so I could play them once per turn and sack them every turn. And I think I'm just going to go up to 7 and 7. And then another... I guess. I guess we go... I guess we still won't need Five, enough two, islands seven. that they'll play, because we still have to be able to play our commander. Can we just play an 8th forest? Now let's go up so one more island. I like that. Five islands. So we're pretty low on blue. All right, let's look at our. So I I like our enchantments. We're at a hundred. We have to cut eleven cards. Every card to library. So we could set up our draws. We could like mill two and keep the card on top that that we want, or mill one card and keep one on top. Seems seems pretty good. It's not terrible. It's not bad. It fills up our graveyard. It'll, it returns something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we don't need the Ingrook's weight because we have a lot of kill and a lot of like in our effects. Maybe it's just a, a I feel like it's it's good to have that just one clear though. I guess. Like, I think every deck needs at least a board wipe. Maybe Delver isn't it. Maybe we don't need Phyrexian Delver as much then? Yeah, no, no. no we, we, don't, we don't. We have we don't. Our, our, it's so easy just to get this stuff back. Uh, maybe actually Elder, too. I don't... It's not. It's... But then Elder? he draws. But then it only puts lands to hand. But having a two mana draw that constantly gets a land to hand. Yeah, that like it gets two to hand. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of good. Torment's great. That's great. Um, well, solemn might be the worst without a sack outlet. I know he's like he's still solemn, but we have two. Th I guess we could also always just sack him to something. Five. Drew said, "What says Sa dudes? Oh, what's going on, man? Yo, we're what's building up, uh dollar budget." card uh Maldrotha. So every card is has to be two dollars or, or under. Yeah. Right now the deck's at ninety one. We're and we're, yeah, it's, it's and we're cutting and we're cutting cards to try and get it to the because we're like a few cards over. I like Demon of Dark Schemes. Um Yeah, all the draw when they die things seems too good. Like all this seems too good. Diluvian probably gonna be pretty good. Yeah, the, good. the sack dude seems really good. Maybe the, I, I don't think this is very No, good. I only thing I don't like is he does exile. I would rather... He is an enchantment, but I, yeah, I don't like it. Because the thing is, he's only ever going to go in the graveyard by it just dying to something instead of hit, acting as a, uh, using his ability. So I'd rather do it that way. That's just really good. It's a... Yeah. It fills up our graveyard. It gets us something that we need. Oh, we don't want to play this, because it shuffles our graveyard back. Oh, okay, we can cut that one. Yeah, we uber don't want to play that. Seals are amazing, man. Yep. Mulder Vine seems really good. Ghost, Ghost Form 
is how we can reset our commander a bunch of times if we need to. I mean, it's maybe Sultai Charm is like the worst one out of those. You don't like it over like this, or? I guess the draw is nice, but it's also monocolored. Mm. I feel like this amount of removal is fine. Yeah. Because remember, don't look at this as this is a land. It's a land, yeah. Uh, so we're just playing one, two, three, four, five, like just the six removal, which is good for decks like this that have removal, but you still need that instant speed removal, like just in case. Mm -hmm. So, All right, what's your thoughts on Veraska? Wait, wait, hold on. Let me let me look up this card really quick. I want to look at the price. Dude, I love this card. All right, yeah. No, I actually that's that's pretty good because retrace feeling being able to put any card we want to our graveyard. Like that's so good because like you discard a land to use it, and then you just play the land. Mm -hmm. And then you can like copy a green war. We have so many good ETB creatures. I think spinning image is like a uh, like a win condition for us. And you, uh, fucking what's his face can dump it. The Gravebreaker. it dumps any card. It's in a tomb. Yeah. And then makes it cost less. Hey, Tom, you know the even funnier thing is with this is that we could in, uh, make a copy of Greed War and just keep putting it, to put it back into our hand to recast the put. Dude, we could, we could keep making a copy of Gravebreaker Lamia to keep dumping our graveyard. And it makes it so cheap in the graveyard that it only costs one, a blue <laughs> and a green. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it says, that makes me, good. makes me wish Popper Commander was more popular. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the funny thing is, is these decks that we're making are completely viable even in our play group. Like, this this is strong. Like it the problem that I think it's gonna have is its mana base. Uh considering we we're playing like some triple black fucking things in the deck. Uh like some heavy pips on certain things. But the the mana is gonna be easy because once Moldrotha comes in and like we're starting to play things like Steve or like Solemn or like the Far Haven Elf or anything that's like getting getting lands into play, like uh it's pretty easy to start or like the font like the font of fertility is mm. really great yeah like there's a creature ver the creature version with uh fertility. I, I know it sucks but i, I kind of like just not feeling the sagas for the most part yeah but I, i'd rather play like sagas just... over like i don't know, maybe I, I i'm caring less about like the 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 creature death stuff as much because our I mean, we're, our, we're our sack thirty two creatures. Our our I say our our sack outlets aren't as great as it would be a in lot a of normal them deck. Kill a lot of them kill themselves. Yeah. Like that kills itself. That's a sack outlet. That kills itself. Some two of them have evoke. Like a lot of them just kill themselves. So they, I don't think like this well, is great too. Yeah. What a great card. And I'm think what I'm saying is I don't think because of how our deck runs with like. I don't think we need to run every single draw card when things die effects, when and especially when we're, they... We're playing three of them? I guess if I were to cut one, it'd probably be the this one, the the Midnight Reaper, the one that you lose yeah. life. I because the Harvester's better, because when we kill their stuff, we get to draw also. Mm -hmm. Which, wait, yeah, Harvester's better. This is better because it also does tokens and it's an enchantment. And I and we gain life instead of lose life. And the grim har the grim har spec doesn't say tokens, but you know it's we don't lose life. Yes, yeah, so I think so we'll drop I... the the life loss one out. Um, what about the garuk? I feel like even with just our commander drawing six cards is pretty fucking good. Like even if you just play him, neg him, draw six cards and play him again. Oh right, I forgot. He just ult. Yeah, never mind. I like him. And then it would yeah. just discard the hand side. Oh, is Reliquary Tower? Uh, can we even fit Rel Reliquary Tower? Do we not we, want we to run it? Did. No, we could. We could fit it. I thought vessels a dollar out of the budget. Uh, so I'll just cut. No, maybe I'm not feeling Myriad Landscape when we have a bunch of mana ramps already. I just like a land that nets mana. He says, is there a minimum you're trying to stay under? Um, well, like I said, every every card has to have it at be at least two dollars or under. Like that's the budget. minus the commander. Yeah, we don't it's funny, like this is way more expensive than the last deck we made. Probably just because of the colors. 
Yeah. Actually, no, the last deck we made was Simic. Actually, I'll show you, Drew. Make it save it. Uh, just in case. Wait, what? Just don't. Oh, uh, yeah, don't. Okay. So, so yeah, six arms are better than one. So it ended up being seventy dollars in the end, and this deck is ridiculous. Like we play tested it, like it's got plenty of creatures to win with. It draws a million cards. It has plenty of ways to win. Like it has things like this that are like the win conditions. This is also playing spinning spinning image, and it's playing like the Maze End Forerunner, which is like a really good. I mean, we could technically play this in there too as a as a win con, uh, just to have something you know like. But this is basically just creature tribal with a Modi. And, like, playing all the things that cost more. Like, Treasure Cruise mm -hmm. is, like, a budget card that costs more. Dig Through Time. Like, playing all these cards that just trigger off things. Like, the Kiora, like, whenever you cast... When something for a greater enters. Like, which we have our entire deck is like that. Mm -hmm. This is, like, a secondary win. Uh, we have a lot of ways to copy, too. Like, we're playing, like... Uh, like, Spitting Image is really good in this deck. Because it... You cascade with a Modi, you retrace, you get to copy any of the ETB creatures that you win with. Uh, and then the rest of it's just value. Like Karuga, you draw for everything that's power three or greater. Like, you know, popping things, like Nezal, no maximum, and drawing, like making tokens. Like, it's all just good shit after that. Rashmi is really dumb with the mm -hmm. deck. Oh, actually, Thrax. Like, making everything uncountable. This isn't just spells. It, it's not just creatures. It makes all spells that are five or higher uncounterable, costless, any is flash and flying. Uh, and then this thing, whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost five or greater, draw a card. There's a lot of really good Simic cards for a big creature tribal. And then we also then run just... some Cascade stuff, like, yeah. And oh, like... yeah, like the uh, Colossus. Yeah. And the uh, Annoyed Altasaur. Mm -hmm. Like the Dinosaur, the Reach Trampler. And then just also the way that this works is so dumb, because you can... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Emo Emoti is fucking o overpowered. She is really overpowered. Like, also, the funny thing is, is she fits into the budget because she's only 30 cents. Yeah, because she's an un she was an uncommon for that set. fucking uncommon. You know what's funny is I pulled, I bought one box of Commander oh, of Legends. Yeah. Never. And it's the cool thing about all these cards, you get a lot of value out of them because it just cascades into something else. Oh, and yeah, you... and this card that Derek found, the, uh, the yeah. Drover. Spell Creature spells, spells. with uh, six or cost two less to cast. Yep, Crows and dro Drover. So it makes the things like really cheap. And the thing is because it reduces their cost, but not doesn't change their CMC, you still get the Cascade. So Aether Snipe's really gross is because when you invoke, you target himself to bounce himself, but he's still a six mana spell, even though you're casting for the invoke cost. Because like I said, it doesn't change its CMC. It just is an alternative casting cost. But Emoti still- I was trying to explain this to Dean and he wasn't buying it. And I was like, no, no, this is how it works. But yeah, it bounces itself and gets to trigger a Modi every turn for three. Just like you could uh, spell Snare and overload Cyclonic Rift because its CMC is two, you're just casting it for its alternative casting cost, but it doesn't change the CMC of the spell. The spell's CMC is the spell's CMC regardless of if it gets reduced or has an alternate cost applied to it. Also, this card is a fair $1 card. Because once... There's way better ramp in these colors for for cheaper. Like, Civic has much cheaper lands, too. It says it like, sound, plus... sounds like using Narciss Reversal to, to recast something. Oh, yeah. In a sense. Oh, going. it's funny. We were talking about Narciss Reversal earlier, uh, because all the cards that are banned that, like, exile all permanents in play and, like, change the life total, uh, cards like Narciss Reversal just fuck that. Like, you know, like, you like you can't even be targeted, or... Well, Tom, I do that in, exactly in the Torok deck, because... When I cast Emergent All of Matum with the with the copy, one of the things I get is Narciss Reversal to target the original one, so I can put it back in my hand and not lose it. Or if I have the extra mana, we could take that out. I think. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking this is not 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 very good. Like we have no mana doublers. Like what do we have to? Our, ramp, our ramp is good, but we're at 108. Mm -hmm. I love this card. Yeah, also, Worm Harvest, I feel, is really good in this, too, because we, we get to... Uh, no, no, we're 100% playing Worm Harvest. Because we have so many... Uh, we have we could, like, get a lot of lands in, potentially. Like, we self-mill. Yes. We have Izani for each creature. I feel like this isn't great if you're not comboing with it. I guess, yeah, we can cut that. I mean, like, it's good protection. But, like, do we care when we're a deck that can just keep replaying her and keep replaying everything we do? Like... She doesn't need... Like, I get this card's great, but...
but she doesn't need protection because she just I've never played against a Moldrotha deck and they never haven't been able to play out of the graveyard. Same thing with Marin. Like they're just that kind of commander, you know? Mm-hmm. Like I just feel like this is a maybe word card that like if we see like she can maybe use some protection, we put it back in. Because what... it is great. Like, it is great. If you had Fre- if wrong. we have uh, if we had aristocrats in a Frexian altar, it would be a win. <laughs> Each player mills four cards, then you may exile a creature card. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. It's mostly just for the self mill to fill up our graveyard. Yeah, like I feel like I'd rather play like a voyaging stater or something else to mill than play this because it exiles things. Well, it exiles things. You says you may, and you could exile your opponent. And, and it only mills once. You may cast spells on the exile. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's I only a cre- it's more so like a way to potentially cast things our cre- uh, cre- uh, creatures our opponents have. And it's mostly because we could reset it, because I, because th- I think is um. Oh, it can also cause, oh because I, I think is once you reset it, it, it doesn't it still remember which cards are exiled? Each graveyard. No. Not if it's a named card. It doesn't. It has to have a counter on it for it to oh, be. Oh, right, right, right. Like Karn, like with silver counters. So, no, it does not. So, it only gets to do it for those two turns and then it's gone. And recasting it does nothing but exile a card from our graveyard. Then we just don't exile anything. Yeah, no, I guess that is the worst one. We could axe that one. Because you may exile a card from each graveyard. So, it's either you have to pick all of them or none of them. Yeah, none of them. They, yeah, that's the only thing. Like, if it said up to four cards or something, or, like, up to one from each graveyard, you know, like, something like that. But it's not worded like that. I think the rest of them are okay. Uh, oh, I think that's still pretty good. Yeah, we, we, run, we run a lot of creatures. And even if we, uh, thing is, even though if we can recast our creatures, just getting two out for free seems fine. I like, yeah, and I don't know. I don't know how much self mill is going to really matter. To be completely honest, well, like I think we could just be a grindy deck without having to be self milled. You know, I guess. I just, I just feel like this is not because I... amazing. I just every turn just keeps filling up our graveyard, and we play out of our graveyard like it's our hand. But I guess it's a bit different than how I envisioned it was going to end up going. So I guess it doesn't really matter as much. I did have like a semi, like kind of self, half self mill going in, and we kind of turned it more towards like a budget Marini list. I feel like if we were going to go into mill, we would play a lot more of the reanimation cards and keep Frexian Delver and play things like that. But the thing is, is most like... reanimation stuff is out of our budget. Yeah, there's, yeah, I know. There, there's some bad ones that we can play, like Command the Dread Horde and things that are just a little bit more mana, uh, like Frexian Delver and things like that. Uh, but. Caring about those kind of things. Wait, how many instant sorceries do we have? Just seven. One of them's a land. What so about our just, sorceries? Uh, one, no, two, not a lot. Because I found this other interesting card. It's a bit slower. But it's Scribe of the Mindful. It's one mana and sacrifice it to return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. So it's like a creature that you get to recast. But the thing is, we don't really run enough. I think that really makes it matter. Sounds kind of cool. Though. It is kind of cool. But like so, like our like fourteen total. But like, and two of our spells we could cast from our graveyard anyway. This seems good. Yeah, the the capsules and the those enchant things are like our value train. Yeah, the seals are too good. This is good. Maybe I care less about palace siege about putting stuff back into our hand, because like we, it's, it's so easy to play out of our graveyard as is. Is putting one creature back every turn better than just casting it? I, I mean, feel I, like it's. It's good to have it as a backup. Because this whole deck basically does revolve around, like, do we have our commander in play for the most well, part? But, but the thing is, is when you get a creature for free, then, like, you get to use your commander and plus what you get, so I don't mm-hmm. know. It just depends what the cost is, because we still have to, like, cast everything. I still feel like with 31 creatures and, and a lot of things that stack themselves, like, Pal Siege plays on its own. Because ideally, we're going to be like, okay, I'm going to cast an artifact and a creature... And play our land for turn from graveyard past turn, 
I think with things like this, like I, I think that like how Siege plays itself. Because we're playing three things that self sack plus Shriek Maw, plus Moldrifter, plus Spore Frog. There's there's a lot of things that play well with Palace Siege and just make it a good Well, I mean, Palace Siege just works with any type of creature death thing, but, like, our commander also just does that. Yeah, uh, I think it's still good to have one and, like, a thing like a Green Warden or a Balagad, but luckily Balagad's just a land, so we yeah. don't have to count it. No, I, still, I, I, th I, th hmm? I don't know. I like that. What about Faraska then? Because I know she gets the pop stuff, like, for, but it's pop one thing, pass the turn, the uptick her. Yeah, yeah. no. We can cut her. She's she's a no go. And I this one seems too good. I don't think I try to get to her ult because I don't think we're gonna win that way. Oh wait, we're playing too many lands. Uh, I forgot to cut one. Or no, we were gonna cut. You wanted to cut like a myriad or? No, I maybe. We're still running seven. Fourteen. Yeah, we have plenty of lands. We have plenty of basics. We're we're eighteen mm -hmm. basics in the deck still. So we're fine. I should cut an island, because we're still we're still low on blue, very low on blue. Maybe elder is the next one that goes for me. I know it draws a card, but I think we have a lot of that, and it's probably one of the more expensive to sacrifice to draw a card compared to other things. Okay. And I'd rather ramp the lands into play than just put it into our hand, because we don't really have a way to put it in our hand into play. I feel you. Maybe this isn't a Neza Hall deck. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. He's just my he's just my boy. So one more cut. He's a good card. I'm torn between maybe uh the the dude that dumps and the Sakur and the uh I don't know, it's either Demon of Dark Schemes or Primordia or a demon of dark corpse, schemes or corpse, a corpse is too good because corpse gets the great breaker lamia which opens our entire deck see the reason I then think you play like, you play mold drifter and then it opens our entire deck thing is i think up. we have the the primordial already that grabs something from each opponent's graveyard i don't think we need demon of dark schemes because demon of dark schemes like i mean demon also potentially wipes because he gives the neg two but i don't think that's as important it, we were mostly just using it for the reanimation but like we have Primordial. We could potentially kill Primordial, just replay Primordial. But he's more like, you know, he could do it on the spot. Mm. Like maybe this is just worse. I don't know. That maybe because we can't keep using him. I don't know. Because maybe we don't need creatures as much as we care about. Because maybe I like pri the other Primordial because I think spells could be a bit more powerful in a deck when we already have a lot of really good creatures. So I don't think ske stealing like one good creature from everybody is going to be actually no but then there are a lot of good creatures but there's also a lot of good spells yeah i feel like both of them really aren't that bad and this this just opens up our library because like you get the, the no because honestly creature. what i think i would do is with corpse connoisseur or any of them is dump like a carrion feeder or a viscera seer just to have that sack outlet open or the four frog there's just so many good options to dump no true you're right we kind of need them and we have the and now we have a dude that we could do that every turn with that one demon guy or the, the Warlock, he's really cool. I think he's going to be really good in this deck. The Lore Mage. Alright, here's what we do. We cut our commander. <laughs> this is a hard one, man. Is it... What are you thinking? ramp are we playing? We have a decent amount, honestly. One, two, three. Uh, Font of Fertility. This is four. not very good ramp. But... Font of Fertility is four. I mean, Binding the Old Gods is a ramp. Ten sources. You thinking maybe that one? It is a lot of mana to replay that just to draw. Let's cut that one. But, but we do have some really high-costed shit. 
but the, remember, like, part of the deck is like, okay, we're going to replay a lot of our ramps, like, creature stuff, so we're going to get a lot of value out of them. It's not just a one-time thing or the enchantments. Like, fertility and, and binding of the old gods. Binding only works for so long, though. It tr I know, true, but it, it only needs to work as long as it needs to work. That's true. Then at worst, it's a removal spell every other, every few turns and gives all the creatures that we end up making with like Worm Harvest or Izani or, or the the uh, Tormod all end up having Death Touch. Eventually, it's a it mills early. If we exi this exiles any cards that we want, not just from us, and then we could return a land or a creature. I think I think it's one of the the better ones. Also says up to two, so you don't have to. Yeah, that's worded way better. And then at the very end, we get to basically like we get to, uh, yeah, pal better. we get the palace siege or get a land. That one's better. That one's better than the other one. Uh... I would say maybe Sultai Ascendancy would be potentially the next one. That one I actually like because it, it exiles the opponent's graveyards only, and I can also start ripping cards out of people's hands. Yeah, I mean, it only looks at the top two. Like, that's... I don't think that that's worth this. All right, yeah, but I think we I think we get this. Like, fixing and putting something in grave. Because, like, if it's something we really... Because remember, it's looking at the top... It's like Scry Surveil before it was Surveil was a thing. Seems kind of like over time it just gets kind of good. I don't know. Because our entire graveyard's alive, so it's kind of like a Phyrexian arena that we can't run. Mm hmm. Oh. So it's like. What do we need more? Is the ramp or the, the setting up? Archive is late later term ramp and it's not as colored as much as just colorless. Yeah, but I mean we only have like Oh wait, I forgot about cultivating Kodama's Reach. Oh Right, right, okay. I mean these aren't better for us. Like it might be better to keep the Hedron and maybe cut those, but I mean I still feel like they're good. Like, I feel like we kinda need them in a three color deck to mana fix, you know. Well let's do a quick hand, let's see what, what it's got. Okay, so this is it. It ended up being around $87, which I still think is really good for a Saltai deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheap. Uh, I think it does some stuff. I I think it's one problem it's going to have is, like, it's good at grinding, but if it doesn't see one of these pieces... Well, Mary, you could flood the board. That's the thing. Worm har yeah, Harvest, but... Izoni, uh, the Desecrated Tomb, and Tormod are going to swarm that? the board. What's that thing that makes a pest now? That thing's kind of good, right? Um, it doesn't give him like plus one plus one with menace. The new card. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Pest mount. Pest, pest mount. Is that what it's called? Pest summoning. No. Uh. That's the left thing. No, that that just makes thing one thing. Uh. I'm not sure what what you're thinking. It's a cool card, turn to pest. Oh yeah, I just saw that one. Well, but no, it's uh. Because there's the there's the one that gives other. I think it's called no. blighted mount. I don't know if that's the thing that deals with pests. Blight mount. Yeah. Read this. When a attacking pest control get plus one zero and have minus whatever non-token creature you control dies. Uh, okay, that's not that's not bad. But it's oh, three bucks. Three oh, damn it! <sighs> Give it a little bit of time. It's not going to be that much money. Because I was thinking maybe we should have more things that make tokens when things die. Is Ogre Slumlord Punk? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. I'll be damned. It's also their creatures too. With the amount that we kill. True. Yeah, we can make a whole bunch. And having a death touch is annoying. 
Like we have the molder mine, which is cool. The other the other option is also like because we keep things oh, dead for binding, so long. Binding, binding, we actually get to use the bottom part of. Well, we we do that with a lot of other stuff too. Like I. Oh with, yeah, because they have death touch too. Yeah. Because playing around with this deck, like I have like a different version of it. Like if getting even just like one. Um, Not to of, make it harder, but I just think that he seems. I th I think having another. Like, he's the Harvester that is for everything dying, so I feel like that's really good in a deck that we're focused on killing things. Like, do you know how dumb Blood Chief's Ascension would be in this deck? Yeah. Oh my god. Because it's just the amount of permanents we fucking kill in this deck. Yeah. It, like if that, you... That's the only one that deals damage for every permanent that goes to grave. Or Sir, Sir Conrad does that too, right? Yeah. No, it's only creature. Or creature card is put... Yeah, it's only mm. creatures. But, uh... You're really seeing a lot of, like, when things just go into Grave, you take damage. I don't know what to cut now. But I, I really do think Ogre Slumlord's going to be good in this. Because we do a lot of murdering. Well, maybe here's that's where we cut out the Ascendancy. Because that's the one we were looking at before. And, like, this gets really good with him. This is Dolkus. Skull Clamp. No, Skull Clamp is not. If that's what you're thinking of, it's like, it's like five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks. It's real good. Kind of good. It is. And with like and okay. also because and also secrets of the dead. I mean, it's not under it's not under realm witch. No. It's only upkeep. Yeah, I, I feel like it's ideally we would want under realm witch and uh, uh, get the get trog monster. And just oh, go. Yeah. And Tatiana. And we just me? go, Daddy. Yeah, but I mean, you know, we don't get to play that stuff. Cause... All right, let's see. Let's see what it kind of, this hand count, uh, what this looks like. Thank you to the eight people watching right now. We appreciate you guys. Uh, I have know we just had a long ban list discussion. Yeah. Dream is to just argue over Lutri for like fifty eight hours. My, I want my boy. It's all. I want my otter. Yeah, we we literally just argued over Lutri being legal or not. Uh, and now we're uh, doing this. Eighty-seven dollars, still a great price range for a deck. This is uber cheap. Mm -hmm. It it is super value engine. I don't think this is as value as a Modi. Like I think a no. Modi. I feel like this commander struggles more at a budget level to find a win condition unless you're hyper committing to playing something like this. Uh, but and this is also in the uber budget level. Like this isn't like. Like how we normally make our decks, like where mm -hmm. we consider budget like around like 200 to 300, which is like where we've kind of been making things. This is in the Uber under $100 budget. But uh, we're doing the, the, the dollar challenge. Yeah, everything under a dollar just to see. And this deck still looks fucking good to me. I, I just think that it needs something. Like, I don't know what that is. What it, it's, it, if, I think the one thing that it really needs, I, and I don't think it can play. No, Alter of Dimension is also too much yeah like th this card is really really strong in this deck um like it's one of the best mills like personally uh yeah okay let's give it a shot i think we're just the idea is we probably just even potentially win with commander damage eventually 